children, you're welcome back to Kampala Baptist Church Children's Time. We are going to listen to God's word and hear a beautiful story about what God has in store for us. Okay? Don't be afraid to remind your brothers or sisters and tell them about this program. Or you can ask your parents to show you these videos on YouTube. We have so many videos for you children. Every week we have videos for you children on Google Day TV at 1.45 and these videos are also on the YouTube page of Kampala Baptist Church and you can find them there, okay? Today we are going to share from God's Word and one of the subjects we are going to share about is from the ninth commandment in the Bible and from the book of Ephesians. When Paul is writing to the Ephesians, he tells them to put off all falsehood and to speak truthfully. And he says this in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. And do you know what this means? He tells them to put off all falsehood. Falsehood means things that are not true, things that do not speak of the truth. And uh, so he tells them to put off all falsehood and speak truthfully. And we see this even in the, tw in, in the ninth commandment. In the ninth commandment in Exodus, God tells his people to do not speak falsely against our neighbors. And then he says that instead to testify to the truth. That's what the Bible says in the ninth commandment. And today I would like to tell you a few stories that I hope we will learn from. But before we start, I'll say a word of prayer and then we'll continue with our lesson. Almighty God, I thank you for today. I thank you for the gift of life you have given us. We pray that you will help us understand what your word says and what your word wants us to learn, King of Glory. We pray that you will help us to listen and do and think about only those things that make you happy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, children, for joining me in prayer. So, children, there's a time. I'm going to tell you a personal story. There's a time my, my parents told me to do something and I knew I hadn't done it. And so when they came back home, I told them, oh, I had already finished doing what they had told me because I knew they weren't going to check. So I told a lie. So then later on, my parents checked and they realized I had lied to them. And because I had lied to them, they were very unhappy with me. And they weren't able to give me the nice goodies they had, exp they had told me they would give me. Because I did what makes them very unhappy. I had lied to them and not told the truth. And children, in today's story we are going to read, that I'm going to tell you about, this is exactly what happened. Two people connived together to lie. And what happened to them was not good at all. In our story today, I want you to listen and I want you to watch and see what and learn something from this story. In the times of the apostles, in the times of the Acts, the church was growing together. The church was growing in such a way they shared everything together, they ate together, they did things together, they preached God's word. And so everyone gave of what they have. If somebody had material wealth they sold it and brought the money to the church and that's what they all did and so Ananias and Sapphira also saw that this was a good thing but then they sold land and they sat together and said Ananias spoke with his wife and said let's sell this land but let's not take all the money to where to the church let's keep some of the money to ourselves and so they connived together to tell a lie Children, are there times when you connive with your friends and say, we are going to tell a lie? This is exactly what Ananias and Sapphira did. They connived together and said they would lie. And what they did was wrong. It was not good. But they went ahead and did it anyway. So Ananias went to Peter and said, here is the money. I have sold my land and I have brought money to the house of God for us to share. And so Peter said, Anan Ananias, why are you lying? Why are you lying to God? Children, do we realize that when we lie, we are lying to God? 
We are not just lying to the people around us. So when Peter said this, Peter told him, what you have done is wrong. And do you know what happened to Ananias? Ananias fell down dead. And so that some of the other disciples came and carried him and buried him. A few minutes after he was buried, his wife comes in not knowing what had happened. And Peter asked him, the money that was brought, was this all that you got from the land? And she said, yes. And Peter told her, no, the, the feet that have carried your husband away are going to carry you too as well. And so Sapphira also fell down and she died. But can you imagine what they had to die because they told a lie? Children, the Bible tells us to tell the truth because the truth will set you free. The Bible tells us the truth shall set us free. It is good to tell the truth because when we tell the truth, we are not living in sin. Children, like I have been telling you in our lessons, sin is anything we do. Sin is anything we say. Sin is anything we think that does not please God. And so when we lie, we are doing something that does not please God. Because we even read about it in the ninth commandment that says, we shall not give false testimony or testify falsely against our neighbor. And so when we read God's word and see what it tells us, what God instructs us to do, children, I want us to do what is right. Let us not lie. Let us give up falsehood and speak the truth. When you see something that has happened, speak about it the way it has happened. But don't add in other things that are not true. Speak what is true. And that's what we learn in our story today, children. I would like to read our memory verse from God's word. This is God's word, children, where we get our stories from. Okay, our memory verse is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. And it says, stop lying to each other. Tell the truth. We are part of each other. So when we lie to each other, we are hurting ourselves. The Bible says we should stop lying because when we lie to each other, we are hurting ourselves. Wow. Can you imagine when we lie to each other, we are hurting ourselves. Children, this week, I would like you to remember to tell the truth because when we tell the truth, it is a good thing and the truth sets us Free. Children, our memory verse again says, Stop lying to each other. Tell the truth. We are part of each other. So when we lie to each other, we are hurting ourselves. I would like you to think about this memory verse. And this week, as you interact with your friends, as you interact with your family, remember, tell the truth. If your friend asks you about something and you're uncomfortable about sharing it, tell them, I don't feel like sharing it, instead of telling a lie. If your friend asks you for something and you have it and you don't want to tell them the truth, tell them I am uncomfortable about sharing that with you. But then don't tell a lie. Tell the truth. Children, this week, let's speak the truth and the truth only. Have a lovely week. Bye-bye! Do you tell lies? I hope not. Sing and see what Tommy did. Tommy broke the oh, cookie jar. Yeah. Tommy broke the cookie jar, then blamed his brother. Then blamed his brother. I didn't break the cookie jar. I didn't break the cookie jar. You're telling lies. You're telling lies. It's not nice to tell lies You'll be called a liar You'll be called a liar Don't make it a habit Don't make it a habit Or you will repent Or you will repent Always tell the truth Always tell the truth And say you're sorry And say you're sorry You'll be happy you said so You'll be happy you said so And make me
many friends and make many friends. <laughs> Have you seen what Tommy did? Isn't he naughty? Always tell the truth and say you're sorry rather than be called a liar. <laughs> <laughs>